Hi guys, welcome to a new video on Fake and Real Just For You. Today we're going to talk about Dutch food. What I'm going to focus on in this video are the foods and candies you need to try the first time you come here. Let's start with candy. Now the first candy that you need to try and that is one of the iconic candies in the Netherlands is called Drop. Uh, you have drop in variety of flavors, but this one is hardened but sweet and definitely something I do recommend you try and of this brand as well. Now next one is Schoolkrijt. Now again, this is also a sweet candy. Outer layer is nice and crunchy and the inside also has this softened drop. Kacha is a more uh, vegan natural based candy and these ones are very gummy they're like gummy bears but um, they're softer like the middle part is nice and soft and, and ears are more like gummy bears but they're very nice and very sweet speck is also something we have a lot here in the Netherlands and it's soft it's very 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 soft and it's so nice when you bite into it, it actually melts in your mouth. And that is something I recommend to try as well. So if you really want to try something sour with a little sweetness, this is your pack. Now we have something that is sweet, but also soft. It has a more hardened outer shell and the inner is nice and soft. Kickers. Now the frogs are the candies I grew up with. And these are soft, very nice sweet and chewy but chewy in a good in a good way now the bananas have almost the same texture as those peaches but has more crunch to it that was the part of candies now a lot of, in, in the netherlands we have a bunch of different candy types but these were actually my favorites and i do recommend trying others just just to get an idea of the dutch creativity of candy. Now we go to Hagelslag. Now Hagelslag is a chocolate to actually put on bread. Now to get the best taste out of this you need to have a piece of bread, preferably a soft piece of bread, butter and then sprinkle a nice and good amount of Hagelslag on the bread. And this again you have in different flavors. I love my Hakaslach and I do like the milk version, but I do love the pure ones. Now you also have packs and these packs have different shapes, also different tastes. You have the, the fruit ones, also a good one and definitely I recommend you try. Now last thing you need to try, Pindakas. Now this is just peanuts mashed together and put in a jar. Put it on bread and eat it like that with jam or you can do pindakas with hagelslag and that is also a very nice combination up next negerzoenen now now they call it zoenen change the name you already hear why it has a thin chocolate outer layer and it's whipped cream inside and it has a cookie bottom and I do recommend to try this one. Peculaas. Now you probably heard this from TV or someone else, but speculas is definitely something you need to try when you're here in the Netherlands. And most people eat it with uh, tea. You dip it in your tea and you, you take a lot, nice and soft bite and it gives you that nice and sweet taste to it. The Stroopwafel. Now this is again something maybe you heard from friends or maybe you heard it on TV but Spigulas is, is also number one in Netherlands as the most bought by tourists and loved by the Dutch. Now you have two types. Now you have one with caramel and I really don't like the caramel one. I love the original standard version one and you should definitely try that. Try to microwave them or put them in the oven for like a minute or less. I also recommend going to markets. Sometimes you come across 
a food stall that has these freshly made stroke waffles and you should definitely try those. Rose cookie, as they call it, translated into pink cookies. Now, the cookie underneath is soft, but a little dry, but the, the top is very sweet and it melts in your mouth and that makes the whole experience and taste very nice. Now to the drinks. Now Choco Mel is also a Dutch drink and it's chocolate milk. But this is a very different type of chocolate milk that you are used to outside the Netherlands. Now chocolate milk that we have here is sweet but not too sweet. It's the right combination. If you want chocolate in a liquid form, I would definitely recommend Choc Choco Mel. The next one, and that is Fernandez. Fernandez is not a Dutch drink, but it is widely accepted by a lot of Dutch people and also something you need to try when here in the Netherlands. Now, Fernandez comes from Paramaribo and that is Suriname. It is a bubbly drink. It's a combination of Sprite with sweetness. Now, the one thing you can also find in food stalls is puffertjes. Now, if you want to make this at home, you can make it at home. Go to the supermarket and buy these packs and make them at home. These are so, so soft. They put some sugar on top with a, a piece of butter and wow, you're good to go. You also have the bigger pancakes, uh, panakuka pancakes. And I do recommend you to try this as well. If you want to do it yourself, that's also possible. You add some milk, shake it and you're done. And this, same thing. I need this is a package that you need to pour some, um, you need to add milk and two eggs. Both of them are very good if you want to do it at home. Next are actually the snacks. The first I want to start with is croquetten. Croquetten are uh, fried. These are all fried foods and they're crunchy at the, uh, at the outside and inside they're creamy and nice and have meat in them. Bitterballe. The bitterballe it's the same as croquettes, but these are in ball form. You can eat them with mustard. Again, also crunchy outside and a nice creamy inside. Casoufle is also a nice fried treat. It's a crunchy outside and when you bite into it, it gives you this creamy, creamy cheese on the inside. There's also one I missed and that is called Frikandel. Frikandel and also it's Almost like a sausage form but definitely something you should try. Well-known Dutch meal is called stampot. Now stampot is made of potatoes, coal and also a sausage and a sauce. I'll just go very fast and explain how you make this. You need a couple of ingredients and that is uh, the rookworst as you see here, the, the burko, some bacon, perfectly chopped, sauce, and of course some potatoes now in general it's just smashing mushing the potatoes together adding some little bit of salt some milk some butter then putting the uh, burko in there mixing it up and then cooking the bacon separately of course making the roquewurst the sausage and then warming up the sweet sauce that goes over it and that is one of the well-known meals that a lot of Dutch enjoy in winter time. And before I end this video, there are also food stalls that have two types of food you also need to try. First one is kibbling, crunchy uh, fried fish with a sauce on the side. I do recommend Rafi Hot. It's a combination of sweet and sour uh, sauce that is a very nice combination with this fried kibbling. The second one is haring. You can eat, eat it in two ways. Chop it up in pieces like this, put the onions on the side in a pickle, or eat it as one piece. All right guys, this was my video. I hope you enjoyed my favorite foods of the Netherlands. Let me know in the comment section which one would you like to try or have tried before. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.